All right, is everyone here? Can everyone hear me all right? Yep. Yep. Sounds good. All right, let's hit the U key, and uh, we're just going to go to some random bases, and I'm just going to talk about some general stuff. Let's go to the Howling Pass. Do not leave the spawn room. Just let's spawn in the Howling Pass. Get beacons up for the two squads in case there's an overpop. All right, everyone, come over to me. Let's, let's not let the NC, uh, let's not make them miserable just yet. So, when you spawn into a base, so, and we're talking about tactics here for the specific reason that a lot of platoon leads will tell a platoon to get to a base, but then they are very hands-off when it comes to what they do at the base. And it's perfectly fine to, to do that for, like, casual platoons, but as far as wanting to mesh strategy into tactics, if you're going to be sweaty on the map, you probably also want to be sweaty when you hit a base. And taking control of your platoon, directing their actions, reading the situation and making judgment calls is very important for winning. It. So, it, yeah, sorry. It's, that's, why, that's why I did half of this on the Discord, because Planet South hates me. You, you want to look at the mini-map. Like I was saying over there, or in the Discord, a lot of the stuff on the mini-map is not important for the fight at hand. You want to look at where the enemy is and where the enemy isn't. You want to ask your... You want to ask your infills to throw recon darts out so you can see on the mini-map, and you want to learn the bases. So I just want to show a couple things about Howling Pass. Go ahead and come on with me. For instance, a lot of people don't know that this is here. And this is literally just an express way to go around from Howling Pass. And there's little nuggets like this at all bases. This literally will just take you to the tower right beside B. And if you don't want to be here, then you could take this one to go to the tower that's right beside C. And if you don't want to do this, you can go to the next one, which will take you to the tower between C and A. And then there's one more that will take you just adjacent to A. So, simply knowing how to move around the base, and this is an extreme example because this is like literal like jump pads taking us all over the place. But simply knowing how to move around the base, what the base layout is, will help you in making decisions as to where to take your platoon and where to send each squad and stuff like that. Uh, another little fun pack with the jump pads that doesn't really have anything to do with leadership, but it's good advice to give people. It gives you a couple of seconds of fall immunity, so if you, if once you land, if you want to tell your platoon to jump off the tower immediately, they won't take fall damage, as long as they just jump off right after they land. It's good here at B point. You can jump right to the the tower at B point and jump right off the tower. You're inside B instantly. Yeah, yeah. And if you if you do like Mike did and wait a little bit, then you'll die when you land. Nice. Good demonstration. Good work. Yeah. Good. Good demonstration, Mike. But very, let's uh, let's go back to the spawn. I think just redeploying will be easier. I, I just want to show a couple examples of a couple of bases. We're not going to do all of them. Just as examples of once you learn the bases, you have you can make some good judgment. So everyone, come back to the spawn, please. Just either run back or redeploy and come over to where I am. So, yeah, you know, there will be a lot of situations on base like this where, like, okay, you might, you, you will just say the jump pads exist. I don't have to worry about anything else. But you need to have options because you don't know if there's going to be a lot of air, if they're camping the jump pads, stuff like that. So knowing little options like this, if you're pretending like you're doing a crash, you can slide the platoon down here, and there is a crack in the wall where if you let a crash down this, it's just... With a rock face to the left and a dock to the right, the air wouldn't see you, and this leads straight into where A point is for a crash. And it's it's literally just going out the left door and then squeezing between a rock and and a hard place, quite literally, and and it gets you like a really good unexpected vector for a crash. And knowing stuff like this. Is very important for leading on the ground to actually making judgment calls. If you spawned them on Howling Pass and thought, 
okay, they're camping the jump pads. You need to think of alternatives like this. You need to lead crashes down a weird angle. You need to go back and drop Valks on, uh, on points that you normally wouldn't be able to reach. Uh, from here, we could say go to the tower that's right by A point over there and use the jump pads from that angle to get from B and get to B and C from a weird area. There's a lot of, yeah, it's just a lot of things that you have to take into account. Where they are, what kind of air is up, what kind of armor is up, what kind of angles you can get on the base. Let's go ahead and redeploy and go to a different base. Let's uh, let's 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 backtrack to in this material storage real fast. Yeah, get beacons up if we have if anyone has any problems getting in. But otherwise, here we are in this material. So a lot of you all have been at this base. This is another. This is a single point base, so it's a lot. It's a lot simpler. But it's still a good base to know of because I, I just want to go over a couple of things. If you come out here, if you look up towards those rocks up there, a lot of like especially NC, but TR will also do this. We'll post armor up there to kind of overwatch our crashes. They'll put armor over there to do the same. Uh, let's get up on these rocks real fast if we can. Well, no, actually, it's just right over there. If you look over, let me ping it. This plateau over here uh, is a good spot for enemies, the enemy to put maxes, that, or not maxes, but tanks on to shoot our spawn point. So a lot of people, for I don't know if it's just for preference or just for rapidity, if you all will come back to me, will lead a crash down these right stairs uh, towards the A point. So if you spawn in as the platoon lead and ascertain that there are armor camping either above or to the right where that platoon waypoint is, you not want to. You obviously shouldn't lead a crash down these right stairs. So you might check and see if they're camping the left quite as hard. Maybe they are. Maybe they aren't. It's hard to say. But you just need to to kind of ascertain what's going on. Send recon darts out. Look where the armor is. Check the mini map. You might lead like a weird crash from this angle because you can either uh, maxes up up here and then just jump over these rocks. And you're at the you're at the the what is this door four here that leads straight into the apple. But you don't always want to just lead the the obvious choice. And you don't it's not, this is not just for crashes. It's a lot of the times it's just I mean you you might just grab four or five people. Like let's all spread out a little bit. Spread out. I, I just give an example that I gave the the other day of the different training. If you're just fighting for a base. And you're, you, as the platoon lead, sees an opening, sees an area that needs to be attacked. You might just say, five gold star, five gold star, people come to me. And if you look at the mini map, people that know where you are will start to triangulate on your position. And then you have five or six people, all right, with me, with me, with me, jump down, breach this door, breach this door, breach this door. So, like, you don't, it doesn't have to be every time we're grouping 48 people together for a massive crash. Sometimes you just need to read the situation. Grab what, whoever is around you from whatever squads. It doesn't matter. Just, they just do what needs to be done uh, to win the fight. Does anyone have any questions or uh, comments so far? Let's find another good example. Let's do uh, tower tree cycling. There's, there's actually enemies there. But everyone, let's, let's spawn over at tower tree cycling. All right, everyone here? Looks, looks like most people are here. Yeah, so there's actually a good chunk of enemies here. So we, we can see the mini-map. You see that they're clustered around the A points. Everyone come to me. Well, let's do like a let's do a pretend crash. So you see they're clustered around the A point. They might have a good chunk of people to the right of the A point, to the northeast. So we're going to do a weirder crash. If everyone will come to me to the left door. If you see an opening, like I'm looking at the mini-map, and I see that there's a blueberry over on straight north of us to that left door, so that's where we're going to go. We're going to go for the opening right there. We're going to crash out here. This also kind of shields us on the right in case they have any armor overwatching. And rather than breaching the normal spot to our right, we're going to go where that blueberry is because that seems to be a weak point. We're going to go up here, go down the stairs. Okay, yeah, just engage, get through the door. There's one in that corner, back right corner. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just get through the door. Yeah. 
get on the balcony first. A point. We got it. We got it. Get Rez's up, please. Uh, Mike is at needs to revive in that corner. Actually, there's still a TR in that corner. Sunday on the road. Roger. Don't don't worry about the Sunday right now. Uh, so everyone just kind of group up with me back by the A point. I mean, if you want to kill the Sunday, go for it. But that that was just kind of an example on the fly. If there were more people here, it would have been more impactful. But like my my example is just read the map, try to ascertain where they're weak, and then hit them from that. They had more people standing over in this direction on the mini map than the, were on the other side. So we hit from a different angle. We hit where they were. Nice job killing the Sunday out there. They don't have any questions so far. Alrighty, Even Prozen's training is interesting. <laughs> sweaty. Well, I'm just it's just base tactics. You don't have to be sweaty about it. I'm just saying, like reading the mini map, forgetting the terminals, forgetting, you know, the the the, the fluff, the the extra clutter on the mini map. Just read where the enemy is, where you are. Uh, we saw that there was a blueberry over here. There was just some random guy. We didn't know who they were, but he was able to make it on the map right here. Uh, I saw him on the map, and I saw there were only two enemies facing off against him to where there were like a cluster of six or seven on the other side of the ape. So rather than leading a conventional crash, it seemed a better idea to angle our angle of attack to where they were at the and you can do this even against stronger enemies a lot of the time. It's like I said in that one training uh, a couple weeks ago. Even if the enemy has a 96 plus at this base and you have 48 people in your platoon, do you honestly think that there are 96 people standing on the other side of this door? Probably not. You probably have localized superiority to at least get through this door. And if you have enough, if you have 48 people against the, what, 8, 10 that might be here, go through the door with 48 people. And then, do you think that they have 96-plus people at the top of these stairs? Probably not. So get 48 people up at the top of these stairs. And just well, and, and by the time that you've gotten the stairs with 48 people and you've revived them, the people that you've defeated reaching the door and taking this balcony are not getting revived. So they have to respawn. So that takes 8, 10, 15 people out of the fight and makes that 96-plus down to under 80. And as long as you just kind of keep... Going through them like a spear point, like quick surgical overwhelming force, you will slowly reduce their numbers and you will take the objective. But, um, All right, so everyone read the play real quick. We're going to go over one more base and then we'll start wrapping up. I'm not going to go through every base. I'm just trying to give examples. We're going to go to Tower's Tower. And I, I do want to preface or add again that it's perfectly fine to run more casual platoons. If you don't want to take this amount of control over your platoon on the ground level, Perfectly fine. I'm just talking specifically for if you want to be more tactical, control your platoon on the ground, these are my suggestions. So, we're here at Tower's Tower, and I'm not going to jump off of here, but I just kind of want to point it. Actually, we can go down the level. Let's go down right here. I'm using this as an example because this can be a pretty notoriously hard base to defend because that road can be the road of death sometimes if they're camping it. Um... There are a couple of ways that you can get around getting there if you need to get a full platoon there. One, obviously, is going to be valk dropping from either the tech plane or the warp gate just right onto that A point. Uh, another one would be taking an alternate route. So let's go ahead and just take the alternate route just to... Now, we wouldn't be jumping down from here. Uh, we would go from the main spawn, but since we're already out in the... So, more secure this route, but if you jump down here, take some damage, it should be fine. And you take a little bit more of a wide route through the rocks right here. It would, has a high chance of avoiding a lot of the armor. And then if they're shooting at you from there, then, you know, put some smoke. I would put smoke down. You can even c continue the circle and go through this gap right here. And it literally just wraps around to this door one here at the powerhouse. And... Wrap around here, go up the stairs, and the point, point would be right there. So if you wanted to take the infantry approach, that, that is how you would do it. Uh, a lot of the times they will... I don't like make, making generalizations, but most average TR or NC platoons base, go off of what the accepted norm is. And the accepted norm for the defenders of 
across this road. So crossing a little bit further up north would probably throw many of them for a loop. Uh, another thing you could do is just do like a, like I said, like a Valk drop. You could, say, pull a couple of battle buses from Towards Tech and just run them up to the rear of, of a point. In fact, let's do that just for some fun. Let's get a, a, a Sunder up from Towards Tech for each squad. We're going to up at Platoon. Just get in these Sunders and we'll kind of show off some stuff. All right, everyone group up at Platoon Waypoint, please. All right, so this is another example to where if you wanted to go a little bit further than like not than Valk dropping it, the there is a rear approach to Towers Tower. Let's go ahead and move out to Platoon Waypoint. If you just ride a couple of battle buses along, you should be perfectly fine, even if there is armor here. The point is just to get people here. Just deploy that Bravo Sunday, and then we just have a little armor ball that pulled up to the rear. Everyone get out. Don't run over people. Mike. And, and even if there is armor outside, we have at least have a temporary spawn right there, and we have another approach to yet another way to get into the A point here. And that's what really matters is just getting to the point. And once we have the point, we have time to figure out how to deal with the armor or time to fill out, figure out how to deal with the Zerk. But once you have the point, you have the time, you have their attention. And the point of going to all these bases was just to point out all the different variables that can come to the play, all the different avenues for attacking. I mean, I showed you three different ways to go at this base on top of Valk drops or whatever. Hey, learn the bases, ascertain the situation, uh, you know, figure out where the enemy is, where, figure out where you are. And just kind of act accordingly. If you couldn't get across the road, bring some Valks in. If you don't want to do the Valk thing, just run a, ram a bunch of Sundays up there. At least the Sundays on. Uh, yeah, like Fe Pheasan says, is a repair Sunday. Park next to it. We'll uh, we'll also make that Sunday last longer to give us more time. Point. Yeah. The main point here is be informed. Be informed. Uh, if you, I have been to plenty of bases where I couldn't remember the layout. If you spawn into a place, have your have your infills put recon darts out, or uh, have detect bolts on your hunter if you like the crossbow, and just run the base yourself. Like a lot of the times, I'll just run around the base and like, okay, all oh, right, 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 okay. So stairs here, and then I'll kind of you know work up some kind of plan where like, okay, everyone with me, we're gonna go down these stairs. You just you're not. I, no one expects you to know every base. Uh, no no one expects you to uh, to be have a hundred percent like know how of the layout of every base, but it's pretty easy to throw recon darts out or to have tech bolts on your crossbow to find where the enemy is to make some kind of decision based off of that information of where, you know, blueberries might be where they seem weak and just put and just punch through there. And we're going to go ahead and start wrapping this up. Uh, I'm going to go back to the warp gate. Actually, no, the alert just started. I'm going to go ahead and just disband the platoon here. I will be in Discord comms if anyone has any questions or comments. But otherwise, I want everyone to just, you know, go with this alert. we got an hour and a half to go. That's pretty much all I want to go over. If anyone has any questions or comments, I'll be in the Discord. But otherwise, I'm going to back to the regular SKL platoon so you can enjoy the alert. But I hope you get what I'm trying to say about tactics at a base. It was great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, President. All right, y'all have a good one. I'll be on the Discord if anyone has any questions. You are welcome.